Well, I think, you know, that's really a punch in the stomach and, and really a bad feeling. Um, anytime when you lose, but especially when you lose in that fashion, um, when, when our guys fought as hard as they did. And we talked immediately after the game that um, the only way we make this feeling go away is to have a good day of preparation tomorrow and, and go out and get a win. Um, obviously, uh, I, I was really happy with, with how we started the game. You know, I think um, we talked a lot about what can typically happen after a double overtime game like that is sometimes the team will go out and have a hangover game, especially maybe the first half. You know, just not be mentally into it as much and not have the, the energy that you typically would. So we really challenged them to, um, to display maybe better toughness and more character than that. And um, obviously we were pleased. When y'all started feeding the ball uh, so heavily to force you in the second half, is that something, do you see something that caused you to start calling those plays? Well, I mean, <clears throat> we obviously, uh, I think she only got one shot in the first half and they did a great job of having lots of paint uh, lots of help in the paint, and um, so we made a few adjustments at halftime to, uh, you know, try to eliminate a little bit of the help um, <clears throat> where they'd have to make some decisions. And um, uh, obviously, they <clears throat> we were able to draw them out of there a little bit and capitalize. And, and then when we they went back down into help, then our four players you saw Dalen, you know, get back to making a few plays. Well, just, you know, last few minutes, we, we looked pretty disorganized. Um, we had the, the wrong guy taking the ball out of bounds on the press attack. And, um, you know, I didn't like our demeanor when they started fouling us. We didn't get down the court quick enough and get in a huddle and look like a well-led team. Um, you know, well-led teams, championship teams, they, they look different, you know, than uh, – than what a lot of other teams look like, and, and I didn't see that from us, so that's definitely something that, that we'll address. You're saying they kind of put their foot off the gas a little toward the end? Well, I, I don't know if it was that or just mentally, you know, losing a little bit of focus. I think some of that's youth, you know, at, uh, at the point guard spot and, and learning that, um, you know, the head coach has pretty high expectations until that buzzer sounds, and, um, you know, we really need to stay into it. and. Uh, and, and continue to put our, our, our best foot forward and, and perform at a high level. What kind of positives you take away from the night going into the next game? Well, I mean, holding them to, to obviously 49 points, a terrific defensive effort, I, I thought, on, on our girls' part, 25% um, 20, shooting. And, and uh, you know, McNeese is one of the better rebounding teams in the league. And, um, you know, we out-rebound them. It uh, looks like 19. Um, that's significant. Um, but unfortunately, the turnover margin was grossly in their favor. So obviously, that's something we can, we can go back to with our team and continue to try, to try to improve on. You just can't have a turnover margin of 10 and, and expect to be getting much better. Mainly our character coming off the game yesterday of Nichols, being a tough loss, and then going down to the wire, I mean, basically identifying our character. That was your first, or Dalen, your first career double-double tonight. Uh, what does that mean to you to have that kind of performance and get a win? Uh, I just knew we had to bounce back from, you know, the loss at Nichols. And, I mean, if that took me getting ten boards and boxing out, and, you know, that's what we had to do. Like Portia said, you know, we had to define our character in this game. Portia, you seemed to be getting almost anything you wanted in the post in the second half. Like, what was happening now? It seemed like every time they ditched the ball to you, it's look kind of easy for you out there? I mean, we, uh, my coach called some good plays. We had a lot of openings, and I, my teammates threw me the ball. Dalen, offensively, what were they allowing you guys to do? I mean, the first half, you kind of had your way. The second half, Portia kind of had her way. They just giving you guys a lot inside? I mean, yeah, their bigs are pretty physical, but, you know, like Coach said, they can't really guard our fours and fives. So, you know, that's an opportunity you know, take the ball to the rim and finish. You guys were able to hold them to shooting just over 25% from the field for the game. What were you guys able to do defensively to slow down the get points? Basically playing our defense, you know, Lady Jack defense, what we, you know, started back in July and up until now, so. And playing to their disabilities. 
forcing them to do stuff they're not capable of doing. What does it mean after the tough loss last game to come out and get a win tonight? I mean, it feels good. We we was really looking forward to a good win tonight. I mean, that's really it. And especially playing in the pink uniforms for, you know, this breast cancer night. Like Coach said before the game, you know, we're playing for more than just ourselves. So, I mean, it's an honor to put on pink uniforms and go out there and get a win. It feel yeah. good to be back on a win streak. Yeah. Yeah. Tough stretch of losses. Definitely. Yes. <clears throat>